Could you please start by telling us your name? My first name is Dorcas, and my last name is Daly. And could you tell us what you brought today? Um, I brought a high school diploma uh, dated 1891 from Purdy Town. I'm guessing it was Purdy Town High School, although I'm not 100% sure of that. Uh, I found this in my parents' basement in 1995. How long did your parents live in the house? From 1958 to 1995. And you said that the person who the diploma was issued to shares a last name with the people that your parents purchased the house. Correct. My parents, I believe the first name of the gentleman was Samuel, but his last name was definitely McCarty. And they purchased the house in 1958, actually right before I was born. I was born in 58. Is there anything else you can tell us about Purdy Town? I don't know a whole lot about Purdy Town. I, I wish I did. I wish I knew more. Um, I haven't really spent a whole lot of time recently on researching it. I'm, I'm guessing because the Purdy name is a well-known name in Sunbury. I mean, the Purdy's have been around forever. That there's a Purdy Street, which is located between, it's just a small street. It's located between Fairmount and uh, Catawissa Avenue. So I'm thinking that Purdy Town may have been in that general area, the lower hill section. Uh, I could be wrong, but I'm, I'm thinking it might have been in there, like Cake Town was in the upper end. Uh, but that's really all I know about Purdy. If there was a Purdy Town, that's all I really know about it. And can you tell us a little bit more about how you found the diploma? I found the diploma. My parents moved in 1995. Um, they, they'd moved from their home. My father had heart surgery, so they needed to, to get into a smaller place without steps. And they lived in a very, um, not a large house, but a, but a house that was, they didn't have any more kids at home. So the house was more than they needed. And um, it was an old house. And when they went to move, I was helping them clean everything out. And this was located in the basement underneath the cellar steps, the basement steps. And I went around to, you know, pull stuff out. I mean, there was other stuff with it. And this was in a different frame when I found it. And when I pulled the frame out, it, it literally just disintegrated in my hand. So I put it in a newer frame. It's just an inexpensive frame, but um, it's been hanging on my wall ever since. But that's how I found it in 1995. I don't know. I'm, I don't know how long it was underneath the cellar steps. I have no idea. to Sunbury history without knowing too much about it? Well, the names, some of the names uh, are, are, you know, you see them in, in Sunbury history articles, Zimmerman name. Um, I believe this is Apple over here. Uh, the Apple name, again, was uh, the Apple family started Buttercrust Bakery. There's also fossils. Now, the fossils, I believe, were over from Northumberland, but, you know, may, they may have originally been from Sunbury. There were some there were, okay, uh, Lyons. I know the Lyons name, L-Y-O-N-S. Again, that's, I kind of tie that to Lewisburg, but I don't, I don't know, again, if, it, if that, you know, originally they were from Sunbury or what. I tie it because of the McCartys. I mean, the McCartys, obviously, were in Sunbury. My parents bought the house from them, so that's about the only, that's the only way I can tie it. Um, I'd love to know more. <laughs> that are unfamiliar with Sunbury that might be watching this video, mm -hmm. what do you think that your object or your story can tell them about the town? Um, it can, the town, I think, uh, was very diverse in the fact that it had, it was, a, it was a town or a city all by itself, but then inside this town, there were other little towns like Purdy Town and Cake Town, um, and who knows what other, uh, you know, other little entities were uh, located inside of Sunbury. Uh, do you have any final thoughts that you might want to share with anyone? Uh, no, just if anybody can give me <laughs> information on Purdy Town, I would love to hear it. I, anybody that would know any history on this, I would, would love to, to hear it. I, at one point, did try to find the family. I put a, a years ago on a message board on the Internet about the family, if they could prove you know, the, the relationship to the person that's located on here, I would gladly give it up. But at this point, um, I'm not willing to part with it anymore. It hangs on my wall. So. Well, thank you so much. Thank you.